Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and as well a Aquarius Rising weekly tarot reading, November 25th to December 1st, a uh, 2019. And bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, to give a good refill here, and we can jump uh, right into it. Okay, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week Aquarius, this is going to be the Seven of Swords, followed by the challenges that you need to overcome, uh, that is going to be the Queen of Wands. Afterwards, uh, it will be the positive aspect of the week here for you, which is going to be the Five of Cups, and then the last one, which is the guidance that Tara is offering to you, that is going to be the um, Page of Swords. Wow, so it looks like that you're going to have an, an upper hand over a specific person, okay? So a Seven of Swords, in your case, is going to be catalyzed here by the Hermit. And that is like a, a awakening here, right? It's like, wait a minute. I mean, why, why we are doing it? Okay, why I am a part of that thing? I mean, what, what is... What is in for? Uh, what is in it for me? That is what those two cards are pointing. It is that you are to kind of like um, identify or rather like understand that you have been lead for your nose. Okay, that you have been th certain things have been dictated to you. That uh, it could be through lies, you know. It could be through a a sweet talks. It could be through promises. But this week, it is kind of like you we you are going to um, identify the truth, or you are going to foresee here the truth. So what that points, or what that is gonna make you, is furious. I mean, really, really furious. Where you are just going to. Um, I annihilate the situations. It's really about storm and that storm comes from you. And it is where you, this time around, are going to stand for yourself, for your rights, you know, showing that you do have a spine and as well taking a precautionary measures that uh, not to, how can I say it, not to be deceived and lie once again. And the good thing about these cards and not, not, about these cards but about the positive aspect it is that actually that awareness comes just in time okay um, this thing that you have been led into it's not beyond escape it is not beyond uh, repair right now the only thing the only problem that i see with these two cards it is that you can be a bit more violent than you have to and that being said, you may, how can I say it, a burn certain bridges that you don't have to burn. So, um, because these two cards are a um, active enemies, you may be a bit more impulsive, you know. You understand 
um, or you find out that you have been lied, you find out you have found out that people were, were acting surreptitiously behind your back and you become furious and without even thinking twice about it, you do what is impulsive to you and that kind of may kind of backlash to you as well, doing you certain harm. So uh, it will be kind of advisable here while you have to stand for yourself, do it the right way, okay? Do it the intelligent way instead of like doing it the passionate and the impulsive way because you can only be taken advantage of once again if you uh, if you do so that way. Okay, so the next one here which regards to the challenge, it is the person that you need to stand against and that is going to be the Queen of Wands in all my such a challenge it is that we do have here and it is accompanied with the hierophant card so the usual stuff does not work with this one i mean that is a, a person who does not play by the rules it is a, a pretty obvious with those two cards which by the way a and a are active neutrals so um this person kind of uh, lean on the rules it leans on the law if you will but if it can it will do things against the law and if we do it if it's, it's going to do things against the routine if you will that is a person who very well understands where the wind blows from and it always align itself with the wind fearsome enemy uh, someone who has that acute business sense someone who knows your nature that is a person who knows you very well and also it's a, a person who likes I don't know if that will help you to identify it but that is a person who likes uh, who, who loves life I mean loves cocktails for example loves social social gatherings it loves to be in the center of the universe it loves to be the most important person of the event or of the situation um <clears throat> if you will the dine the downfall of the queen of wands is the jealousy i mean uh queen of wands could not cannot stand someone to oppose her cannot stand someone to be better than her right and by you opposing her that will kind of like swipe her off her feet and uh, it's going to make her do stupid things. And it is where you take advantage of that behavior and um, basically take what you have been owned, right? Because you don't have to walk away deprived here. I mean, you can kind of have your compensation. This is what it's all about, to have your compensation at the end of the day and from there move on to your own a personal agenda instead of following other people's a agenda so the other card here which is the positive aspect that is going to be the five of cups and is going to be catalyzed here by the six of uh, swords we do have a passive neutrals into this position and as i said it is not way too late too late that comes from the five of cups uh, because it points that on the plus end um whatever time you have lost being deceived you know or whatever disappointment you may have been experienced these things are just either a partial disappointment or a temporary loss it's kind of like a temporary setback you can catch up and um as a neutral as uh, the passive neutral uh, six of as six of swords is passive neutral to the uh five of cups it's uh it kind of looks like as well that you are going to Opt, uh, adopt a, uh, a very good strategy of how to move on forward from now on. Strategy that is going to deprive your future performance or your future drive, you will, if you will, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, from a risks. It's kind of like you ain't gonna shoot, shoot into the dark anymore, or you are not going to... Um, trust people that uh, haven't proven themselves that they are trustworthy and so on and so forth but the best thing about those two cards is that you will have no doubt whatsoever than, than uh, that you have done the right thing and on top of it guys it looks like that also certain followers are gonna follow you instead of following the queen of wands but you need to have the backbone to stand against her that is very very important because uh it looks like that right now you are in the shade of the queen of wands instead of making your own shade upon 
you know, certain situations or people. So she is your leader. I'm saying she because it's a queen, but it could be he as well. While you can be a leader for yourself instead. And uh, the last one here uh, represents the guidance that Tarot is offering. We do have the Page of Swords and it is accompanied with the uh, Eight of Pentacles. Quite peculiar, we do have an, an active enemies into this uh, particular position. So um, it, it looks like that you need to um, stick on or hang on into your own original thoughts. Okay, it's kind of like probably up until this moment you have followed this person. It is because you thought that their either idea or their way of thinking or in generally, you know, how they do things, it is the better way. But it isn't. And you are going to find this the hard way for what it seems throughout this week. So you have to stick with your original thought, even though uh, you may not find as much support as you um, as you want. But there will be a, a support. You are going to have followers. All right. And uh, on top of it, guidance wise, it's time to really make the cleaning here. I mean, the spring cleaning, if you will. I, uh, that, that being said, to clean a noxious people out of your life, a people that are only thinking for themselves instead of, you know, thinking as for themselves as well for you or how you both are going to do something instead of how they are going to do something on your expense. And um, as the Eight of Pentacles comes as a uh, active enemy to the uh, Page of Swords, uh, it looks like that you are to abandon certain ways or rather like you are going to find the things you thought are a substantial not to be that substantial. I mean, they, these, they were, these were either alienated resources or alienated goals. They were simply not your thing. OK, and from there, it looks like that we are going to have reprioritized. Uh, reprioritization or yeah it's kind of like you are you're going to prioritize yourself into a different stuff into different people into different aspects into relationship into different aspects into work and you will be able to redirect your conscientiousness towards a, a different subjects as well but um Based on your original thinking and your original thoughts, the biggest guidance here it is that you are going to find out that what you have followed up until this moment was not your thing. And now it's time to follow your thing. Fantastic a week uh, where you can start thinking of establishing private business, you know, where you can start thinking of how you can... Um, negate certain negative influence as well. It's a, a fantastic week for you Aquarius where you can scav um, um how how do you say it? Um not scavenge but um yeah it's probably the scavenge the situation. Scavenge the situation and uh, simply move on through a uh, toward or on the path that you have consciously chosen yourself. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly tarot reading, November 25th to December 1st, 2019. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.